Hello everyone, my name is Reagan Wheeler and I'm going to be playing the game Rainbow Invaders. Um, so it, you know, starts with an R, has a W in it, so there you go. <laughs> um, so when I was researching this, I really couldn't find um, a company that made the game. Every website, everything that I saw said that it was self-published by the designer whose name is Silvia, Silvio Mangu. Mongo. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it said that he self-published it. So I hope that that's correct. That's what I'm going with. I tried to find the company and every single thing said company self-published. Company self-published. So it was originally published in 2006 um, for the Atari 2600. Um, and so similar games, um, if you haven't already guessed, um, Space Invaders, which is a pretty infamous game that I'm sure many of you have played. I know I played it. Um, and kind of practicing with the game, it's very similar to Space Invaders. Um, that's why it really wasn't too popular because it was marketed as being different from Space Invaders and in that it was rainbow. So it had these rainbow power-ups, all these different colors that were like used to help you. Um, and there's 12 of them total, but Eight of them hurt you, and four of them help you. So, like, and they're also very difficult to, like, activate. The only way to activate them is to run into, like, these little spinning bullets that come. And they look just like bullets, except for they spin. So if you run into them, then you activate them, but you have no idea which one it is. So you can activate it, but once it's activated, it doesn't go away. And so it could hurt you. It could be one of the eight ones that hurt you and help the aliens. So it's, like, that's not fun because... They're not really useful because most of the time they're going to hurt you. So no one really liked them. Um, and that's really the only difference other than the fact that it was slower in gameplay than the original Space Invaders, which is another thing that people really didn't like about it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to the game. Power on. And I'm also going to reset. Okay, cool. So... Those, those beautiful sound effects. Um, so basically, control-wise, you're just moving the joystick left and right, or the keys left and right, um, and then you're using the space bar to shoot. So obviously, on the joystick, it'd be, yeah. Um, and then I guess if you pull back on the joystick or use the back arrow, it activates the shield. It makes that noise, but I've never really tested it, so I guess we can go ahead and test it. I don't know if it actually works, but we'll see. Nope. There's probably something else you have to do. I don't know. I tried to research how to activate the shield, and I can't figure it out. And neither can other people, so <laughs> there's that. <gasps> Am I going to get it? No. I always try and get it, and I never do. Yeah, if you see those spinning tiles, they're, they come down quite a bit, actually. Mm, they most of the time hurt you, but I'll do one just so you see what they're like. So see, it changes the entire thing to a color. Don't know what it did, and I don't know why it just turned green either. You, it's definitely not, it's definitely not helping me. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, if you see, it's just like the regular Space Invaders where you can only shoot one time, so if you but try and rapid fire, it just deletes the previous one. So that's not fun. Okay. So these ones, these are the air. Okay, I don't like this. I do not like this. I need to stop using those power ups. Because again, they're not helpful at all. Wow. So again, there's this final round. You have three lives. <laughs> but after you lose your third life, you get a last final round that you can use to try and get as many of them at the end. Um, I've definitely done a lot better than this in the many times I've recorded this and then had to re-record it because of reasons, but it's fine, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just like Space Invaders. You're just going back and forth to try and shoot these aliens to keep them from coming to Earth and destroying all humans. Um, the only difference is these colorful power-ups that really are not that fun, as we saw. Um, they do random things. I know some of it, I know one of them allows you to rapid fire, but I only got it once. I believe it's pink. Um, and then 
like you saw like the tealish blue one like stopped you from shooting and then the green one like you would shoot them and then they would come back so some of them are not helpful some of them are um but yeah i mean all in all i mean it's a fun game and that it's just base invaders but i don't really like the colored power-ups i like the colors they kind of make it a little more visually appealing but the power-ups aren't so fun but you know that's whatever but that's kind of why it wasn't super popular because people didn't think it was all that different from space invaders they just rather play space invaders but anyways i enjoyed playing it and i hope to see some of your guys's gameplay as well but anyways um, thanks for watching and have a good day